This is your host, Quasar Spell, and welcome back to Let's Play Sparrow 3, Year of the Dragon Blind. In the last episode, we took care of Bamboo Terrace, and now we're going into this thingamajig. I think that's what they called it. No, whirly gig, that's right. It looks a lot less safer than that air balloon I was using, if I do say so. Apparently, we have to head on to it and head to Evening Lake. And by the way, I was wrong. There's apparently four areas in this game, not three. The Atlas would tell you that. Of course, I didn't find any treasure. I found all the treasure in that area. How does this thing even work? There's no motor or anything. It's just flying. My tactical instincts told me the Holy would attack crap. you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature. But I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight. Oh my. First off, something that was weird. We didn't get a cutscene showing how this guy was made, like Buzz, but... Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well that, that was a cheap shot. Okay, I apparently have to be running at all times. Okay, so that's how I heard him. Take that. So apparently I just keep running. Got him. Oh god, what'd that do? Ah! Great, I don't even have any... What was that? Oh! Well, that's a wonderful way to start off this episode, don't you think? Oh god. Don't get close. What's he doing? Okay, so he can crush me. Uh. Alright, so you're a lot tougher than Buzz. I thought he dropped the ammunition. How'd he get all the way? Bam! A lot easier than that other guy. What is this thing even supposed to be? It said his name was Spike, I believe. But... I don't even know what to make of him. He's so monstrous. He's like a satyr due to the hoof-like legs. A rhino? He might be one of the rhinox. Oh, dang it. I take it steam comes up from them and the steam can hurt me. Oh no, it turns into fire. What's that? Oh, the fire thing. Why is it appearing near him? Okay, so I have to get it. Okay, did more cracks appear? Mine, 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 mine. Haha! That's... That's actually really... What's that one? Oh, come on! Okay, I can handle this. He's just a big brute, that's all. Why are you doing that? There's no need for that. Oh god. Oh god. Missed. Oh, oh. Okay. You know... I must say, this guy's appearance, he looks... He's actually very menacing. If you put this guy in, uh, in a cloak or something, I would believe, like, I could honestly believe that thing right there. Is, oh, that was so... F that was so fast. Oh, I'm so stupid when it comes to that. I really just can't ever go towards him. Really? Well, I can't say he's stupid. It's exactly what I would have done if a dragon was about to pick up a fire-breathing attack. Well, I expected him to go to the middle when he does that. Come on, his patterns are... Out oh, I got hurt by my own blast. Oh, thank goodness for invulnerability frames. Yay. 
Oh, now thank goodness. I am not doing terrific this battle, and I... Okay, ran towards him. You know, maybe it was a bad day to play video games. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine. Got 32 more lives. I did say I wondered what could take up all those lives. Oh, great, now I have hiccups. Let's play in curse, am I right, people? Maybe. Oh! Did it home? Going around, going around. Bam! Oh, I was gonna hit you. Oh! Screw it! Dang it, I tried to turn! Wow, I am not doing that well. Take that. Oh! And I still get hurt. Okay, the big problem with this right now is the controls. He can drop chickens? Kinda want him to blast the chicken to see what happens. Oh, and he can just up. Oh, well, of course. Oh, so he goes. He can aim where I'm going to go. Dang, this boss has some brute. <laughs> has actually some really good AI. I bet that's pity chicken for losing so many times. It might be. I would not be surprised. Come on, let me get that, let me get that. Haha! Okay. Now, I still don't know what the blue does. Time to find out! Apparently I just fired the blue, so the blue only becomes a projectile, not really a flame blast. Should run. Huh. Blind LPs, everyone. You're learning this with me. So I bet there's someone out there who's like, Just circle around him, he'll never catch you! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, or maybe someone's like, You could just use your fire breath! Oh, really, game? There's probably someone out there telling me I'm doing something wrong. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm trying my best game. Oh, thank goodness for shields. You know, they say the best offense is good defense. I think. You know, I don't know if that's reverse or... BAM! Okay, time for stage two. Fire! Oh. Okay, and now for the last ones, the blues. I really don't want to find... I am kind of curious about what happens if he picks one up, but I really don't want to know. Oh, please don't pick that up. Oh, God, fire. Oh, he picked it up. That's not fair! <laughs> All right, then. Monique, I went through a lot of trouble for you, Monique. You are not a dragonfly. Please stop trying to eat the butterfly. Okay. I can't control Spyro. And there seems to be a chicken on the edge. Oh, wow. That was certainly something, wasn't it? Well, it's time to investigate the new area and Rainbow Girl. It's the apprentice, right? Listen to me, Dragon. Spyro. 
This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's gonna do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! I Just die? Go. You, you said earlier you wanted to kill me, so before she doesn't kill me? Lady, you're full of mysteriousness. I get that you're trying to become a good girl now, but that really, really doesn't work for you. Or I guess it could work. It's just kind of sudden, in my opinion. Is this a rocket? Yeah, that's probably our next mode of transport, because, you know, hot air balloons are so difficult. And who needs an airplane when you have rockets? No one-ups. Okay. Seems like, well, it is Evening Lake, and I guess this place looks pretty nice. Egg up there? Yep. Okay. Wait. Really fast. There's some up here. Climb, climb, climb. Wow, this is a big ladder. Hey, it's another one of those sign thingies. Later. Okay, probably have to beat the game to get those. Hannah! I don't have anything clever to say about that. I'm too frazzled. And hey, X marks the spot, right? <laughs> Maybe if I had some type of soup. Whale! I died, didn't I? <laughs> I I'm at a loss of words. Jonah! What are you even... Okay. Do I go out the back? Nope, no going out the back. You're just gonna spit me out? I'm completely at a loss of words right now, people. I just... swam into a whale. My day is looking pretty good right now. Is that another whale? Or No, nah, there's probably only one whale. What's a whale doing in a lake? How is a lake big enough? There are no other fish. What does it eat? I mean, I know it doesn't eat... I know whales don't eat fish. I'm not I'm not talking like that. But I'm just saying, what, what does a whale eat here? Ooh, what do we have here? That's great. It's a home world that's massive. Uh, although I have to say it reminds me a lot of the Spyro 2 Ripto Rage one. Uh, the beginning the beginning area, whatever that's called. Oh, what's that? I know you, was it Glimmer? No, Glimmer was the first area. Whoa, what's this place? Fireworks Factory. I actually kind of like the look of it. <laughs> How are the fireworks going on underwater? Oh, too many questions. Too many questions. Uh, what's that area? Wow, that, this whole place is like an entire underwater world. Oh, wait. Hold on, camera, camera. Camera, work with me, please. Oh. Don't know where I'm going half the time. Okay. There's something over there. And that's, uh. Charmed Bidge? Charmed Ridge. Okay. 65! Dang! I thought I had a lot. Well, I do have. I do have 60, so I, I do have a fairly good number, I guess. I guess 65 is appropriate for the third world, but dang! Actually, I mean, I'm comparing it pretty much to Ripto's Rage when you only need, like, 
50... Wait, what's that? That part of the wall looks weird. Bam! Haha, <laughs> purple! Stupid doobid doo! I got you! <laughs> and he's like a dog, of course. <laughs> Very fitting. Alright. Bam. Still no. Well, there was another part of the uh, upper area, right? Yeah, over here. Fly! Yeah, I think I'll just be exploring this area for the rest of this episode. There's supposed to be... Well... Well, I shouldn't say there's supposed to be. I don't know if it's true for every area. I assume... There's another... Like... What is... Oh... Hi again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. Zoe, why don't you just fly around them? You know, help me out a lot. You could have picked up Stuart's egg and brought it over to me. No problem. Right? Right. Hey, one up. One up. And gems. Now let's see what's up here. Well, it seems to be a big circle. I like big circles. Oh, some appears to be egg. Ted. Five out of five. Oh, I'm back here. Man, I didn't see any... I got all the eggs, just casually, and I still didn't see... All the... Oh, some of here. Hey! <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Hmm. You know, I was told in a comment that I should actually decline him because he has funny lines. I'm going to see if that's true. Very well, then. I was having a rather good time poking him with a stick anyway. <laughs> Okay, thank you out there for t for telling me to say no to some of money bag stuff. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands. I'll say the same thing. Okay. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? <laughs> ah, what do I care? It's mine now. <laughs> okay, I like that line even more. Oh, we get a cutscene! A duplicitous Larcinus Ursine. Larcinus. Ah, 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 the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <laughs> One more, perhaps? Yes! At least. <laughs> Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. <laughs> yeah, sure. Did anyone catch anything he just said? I think he, like, made up half those words. That or... I'm just... <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't have the largest vocabulary, but my goodness. Bentley. Apparently his name is Bentley's... Uh, oh, it's Bentley. Okay. I'm a fan of Bentley. And, of course, there's still gems missing. I can't 100% even this place. Well, is there any gems on the pirate ship? 
I had to have missed something. Well, obviously I missed something. But, oh! Got gems here. I just hope I'm not missing much. There! Yes! Alright, good way to start off this area. Oh, a tough boss battle. Got, got six eggs. One from the boss, five from here. And I'm all ready. Let's try to find... Uh, let me announce a place we're going next time, though. Let's go to the Frozen Altars. Wherever that is. Uh, or should I go to Bentley's Outpost? I'll flip a coin b between episodes, and Scorch is the next name of the boss. You know, there's a lot of stuff here. Is that the girl from Scor like from Scorch in Spyro 2? Uh, the the one by the fireworks factory number? Oh, this place I'm just going to end off here, folks. Thank you all for watching. This has been your host, Quasar Raspel. Until next... Hey, I have enough eggs to open that one door. <laughs> Sorry. This has been your host, Quasar Raspel, signing out.